Now in stage 47 we're going to be completing the final ribs from the frets on the aileron. So take your fret and then label up from left to right, noticing at what point A, B, C, D, E and F. Once you've done that, remove the parts and we're going to be start fitting them to the other one. And once you've done that, lay them out in sequence A, B, C, D, E, F and you should have them all going from the largest to the smallest. Now, if you take your aileron and from the longest edge with a support at the bottom mark them off A, B, C, D, E and F and then we're going to be fitting the supports to the wing like so making sure that we've got them in the correct position when they go on Okay, you'll notice as well that they should be in line with the bottom. Now you'd probably be better off doing this on a flat surface so that you, at least then you can see that they're all nice and flat. Now you'll know if you've got it around the wrong way because one, it will look like that. Okay, and that is incorrect. That is obviously correct. So get your glue ready and then go ahead and start placing those into position. And once you've done that and before the glue sets and dries just make sure that everything is nicely positioned as so and all equal distances rather than them towing in. Okay and just allow that to dry until later. I'll take the parts that you got with this stage and just remove the centre fret, clean up the inside edges and then take the side of the engine mount and just test fit where that's going into that position like so. Okay. Now get your glue ready and apply some glue to the edges and then get your right angle ready as well and then glue that into position placing your right angle up against the edge and allow that to dry.